everybody on the internet and YouTube, welcome back to The Sims 1, here with me, Tianicked. Today you will immediately notice that we are doing something a little different and a little bit new and I'm a little uncomfortable, but you guys can see my face. Hi, it's me. This is what I look like. If you haven't caught one of my talking videos where I just talk to the camera like in my channel updates or whatever, hi, it's me. Um, I have been kind of thinking about adding face cam into my videos for a little while now uh, and I have been putting it off because I'm a perfectionist and I was like well I can't add face cam until I have a green screen and I can't add face cam until I have you know proper lights set up and I can't because this and I can't because that and basically I was just making a lot of excuses <laughs> um, just to excuse myself from putting my face on the video but uh, recently I've been doing a little bit of you know research into YouTube and what makes videos uh, engaging or you know whatever and also I just I just watch a lot of YouTube myself personally as well and I realized that it actually really is nice to be able to see the person who's talking and playing so I'm trying it I don't know yet if I like it um, <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, it's a little it's a little crazy for me, but I'm gonna try to go ahead and stick with it. So yeah, uh, let me know your thoughts. Do you personally prefer no face cam or with face cam? Uh, you can tell me at the end of the video. I guess. Uh, but yeah, no, so we're back here with Spike and Julia and today we are going to be continuing down our path of attempting to number one, be rich and famous or not at least not lose our rich and famousness. Number two, get Wesley to marry us. Although honestly, after last episode's fail, I'm kind of burnt out on that quest right now. And I, do, I kind of want to just give it a little bit of a break. I just, oh, come on, Wesley, man. Um, but yeah, no, we need to definitely continue down our magical spells route. So I'm going to just quickly jump back in here. I want to make another Reign of Riches spell. That is a fairly high priority right now. Um, I also want to, yeah, just continue learning our new spells. So we were trying to figure out this one, which is Pegasus Feather, Sands of Time and Beeswax. So let's just really quickly take a look at what I've actually got, which is I've got Beeswax, I've got a Sands of Time and I have a Pegasus Feather. Oh. Okay, <laughs> I didn't even realize. Right, well, let's start today's episode off with a bang then and create our next magical charm slash spell. What is it? It's a charm. Okay, so these three ingredients to discover the hidden nature of this charm. Okay, let's do it. I'm a little nervous. Who knows what is actually going to happen here? But let's, yeah, let's do the Pegasus Feather. Let's do the Beeswax and let's do the Sands of Time. Go, Julia. This is so cool! We're doing another magical charm! Yay! Um, okay, so make charm. Who knows what we're gonna get? I mean, I know some of you know what we're gonna get because you played this expansion pack before, but I haven't. I don't know what's going on at the best of times. Okay, so we've got a beautiful blue, dark blue charm. So check our family spell book for more details. Absolutely. Always read the instructions before trying out a new magical charm, people. Instructions save lives. Okay, so let's go ahead and see. Clone drone, you don't want to work. You just want to play all day. But what if you could work and play all day? What if you could avoid the drone of your manager's voice by laughing around the house all day, but still have all of your work get done? Well, for some people, the answer is telecommuting. But for other, the more magically inclined Sims, sorry, my phone is buzzing. Um, just move that. The more magically inclined sims, there's clone drones send you to work while you stay at home, but which way, wait, which one are you? Really? <laughs> we can clone ourselves? Dude, that is some serious O-penis right there. Are you kidding me? We could have one Julia hero who goes down to Studio Town and makes us money, while the other Julia hero does magic stuff. But then would we have to take care of two Julia heroes? Would we have to like, <laughs> would we have to, um, yeah, take care of two Julia heroes needs? Because like, honestly, I don't know how I feel about that. It's, it's already so hard to keep one Julia hero alive, but I mean, I guess we have to try it out. I guess we have to. And which, um, like, how long does it last for? How long do we have a clone of ourselves? I have so many questions, and now the only way I'm going to find out... Oh, we got a mechanical skill point from doing um, Golden Thread. Nice. We need to work on our mechanical skill. That's one of the other focuses for today's episode, actually. But yeah, how long does it last for? Oh, I see. It's actually, like... It's actually two small plum bobs, like, right next to each other. That's so cool! What the heck? We can clone... Oh, thanks, Spikey. You're such a good boy. 
We can clone ourselves. Holy moly. That is so OP. I love that so much for us. Okay. So we're just going to... What? Why would we want to... I can tell Spike to attack people? Since when could I command Spike to attack people? Can I get him to attack the Obsessed Fan? That, the Obsessed Fan is literally the only person that I would ever want Spike to attack. Nobody else. Also, oh. No, there's, there's no one at the door, Spikey. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. It's okay. It's okay. Stop freaking out. Also, Julia, honey, come downstairs. Come downstairs. Stop. Yes, stop. Stop mucking around with the door, dude. Okay, what are you doing now, Julia? She's performing on the magical table. Of course she is. Oh my goodness. Oh, you'll also notice that I did clean up the house a little bit in between episodes. Um, at the end of the last episode, after the party, the ki the entire kitchen was flooded in water. <laughs> um, and everything was like a complete and utter disaster. So that wasn't ideal. Um, we also are quite low on our social need right now. We also need fun. Um, so what I'm thinking is we should really maybe try to invite somebody over to hang out tonight. Um, and looking through our relationships, we're getting quite low with Bruce and Angela. We also, pardon me for the burp, we also lost our friendship with Jessica last episode. Um, and we, we did take a hit with Wesley because we asked him to marry us and he said no. Which obviously kind of really tanks your relationship. Maybe we could invite him back over though and just have a really chill, like, hangout night. Nah, you know what? I think we need I think we need a girlfriend night. I think we need to invite over Angela and just have a nice chill night together, just hanging out, relaxing. Um, and then tomorrow we will probably have to go down to Studio Town. We have to continue making appearances down in Studio Town until I actually figure out the spell to maintain our celebrity status without any input from ourselves, which is gonna be really, really handy. I'm quite excited about that. Angela says, absolutely. Oh my God, girl, we have so much to catch up on. Sorry, I don't know why I went American there for a sec. Do you guys ever do that? Or is that literally just a me thing where you just randomly kind of break out in an accent? I think it's just me, but I just, I don't know. I do it all the time and it's kind of weird and I've kind of got to stop because especially on YouTube, I don't want to offend anybody with my really poor accent. Yeah, here we go. So warning, fame fades quickly with time. Without frequent trips to Studio Town, Julia's standing with the agency. Could be in jeopardy. We can't help you if you don't help us. Yes, I know. No worries. We will, I promise we will head down tomorrow. Okay, Julia, just have a, oh, Angela's here. Awesome. Bruce is no longer a friend. That's fine. Let's go ahead and do a, a star kiss with our BFF Angela or not. Here we go. And then we can chat with her a little bit and have a nice meal together. Just have a really cool, um, yeah, evening together. She apparently also needs cheering up, so let's cheer her up as well. She's feeling better. Awesome. <laughs> Let us just talk um, about the biz, maybe. So, yeah, we just got a call from our agency, and we're just, like, so tired of them just bugging us all the damn time. They're just so demanding on our time and energy. Like, dude, we have so much going on in our lives. We cannot always be down at Studio Town, all right? Like, it's just not feasible for someone with as much to do as Julia Hero. I'm sorry. But, yeah, no, um, we are going to just... Uh, cooks this nice food, hopefully. Yeah, I know, honey. I know, you're okay. Stop waving at me. You know when you pick up your plate and go and sit down on this nice chair that your comfort will go up. Isn't that amazing? There you go. And then Angela's going to join us, so our social need is going to go up too. Then we're just going to go and chill out on the couch, have a nice time. And I feel like, yeah, we really just needed a break from Wesley tonight. I feel like Julia is a little mad at Wesley, rightfully so. I mean, when he refused to marry us, what did he say? He was like, oh, why don't we ever talk anymore? And it's like, dude, you were literally at my house yesterday, hanging out, having a super chill, like like, you know, friends night, and now you're being like, oh, why don't we ever talk anymore? Like, dude, cut me some slack, okay? You are just a handful, and I just, ugh, seriously, I'm just a bit over it today. So, whatever, it's fine. By the end of the episode, I'll probably be like, I want to see Wesley. Let's invite over Wesley. Oh, dear. Okay, come and sit, Angela. Come and chill with us, girlfriend. Watch some, no, 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 no. Come and sit, come and sit. Come and sit. And let's watch TV. Yay! She doesn't like politics. I feel like we're not actually having a great conversation. Let's talk about the 60s. Let's see if we get along. Julia, no! (sighs) 
Let's have a chat and see if we can get along about something. Come on, let's talk about Hollywood. Surely we get along about Hollywood. No, Angela doesn't like Hollywood. Oh gosh, crap. Uh, what about style? Surely we are both... Oh my god, Julia. Okay, you know what? We're gonna have to just hug um, Angela and say goodbye because Julia is too tired. She just can't deal right now. She's just like needing to go to bed. Thank you so much for coming over, Angela, and cheering us up. Much love, darling. See you tomorrow in Studio Town, maybe. <laughs> Bye. Cool, so it's the next morning now and Julia is just gonna go ahead and freshen up and get ready for her day. Um, we are gonna, yeah, we're gonna have to head down to Studio Town, do a couple of little jobs. We are kind of running low on funds, so it's gonna help us out with that as well. But I'm gonna try out the clone spell. Yes, I'm gonna try out the clone spell because I just wanna see what it's like. Um, and I don't, I just don't understand how it works. Because like, because we have to physically go to Studio Town, I feel like the clone spell would be more useful if you had like a rabbit hole job and you could so you could just send a sim off to do that and they would just kind of disappear but anyway let's let's totally try it let's let's cast clone drone hello whoa what the heck wait can <laughs> <laughs> we can't, we can't interact with her apparently. Um, we can tell, we can tell Spike to attack the other one of us. <laughs> okay, I think this is the, the actual us and I'm not sure what this Julie is gonna do all day, but let's totally see what happens, um, when we go to Studio Town, when we call a cab. Cause I'm just really interested. Oh my god! Why is she on fire? What happened? Julia! <laughs> my clone is on my clone is on fire! Why is my clone on fire? Why am I dying? Why am I dying? No, 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 no. And did she pee herself out here on the street? This is <laughs> Oh my god, this is horrible. Oh my god! <laughs> Help me! Why, why did you take so long, Firefighter Fire Freddy? <laughs> Jesus Christ. What did I do wrong? What did I do to deserve this? That was awful. I just watched myself burn to death. If that wouldn't mess you up, I don't know what else would. Like, wouldn't you need some serious therapy after that? I would need some serious therapy after that. Holy crap banana cakes um cool so that went well um so we can cast it again <laughs> we didn't get to try it out um properly but i think i'm just gonna hold off a minute and uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna go down to studio town ourselves and it's gonna be it's gonna be great it's gonna be fine i what why did she catch on fire did she set herself on fire like, I'm just so confused. I don't, I don't understand. This game, seriously. You can get yourself a clone. You think it's going to be great. Next minute she's on fire and you're just like watching in horror. Jesus. Okay, it's never a simple uh, Sims 1 episode, seriously, is it? is my Barocca. By the way, I'm not drinking tea today because I've already had a cup of tea today. And um, I also just really am feeling a little flat. Um, in my Sims 2 episode last night, I mentioned that I'd had just a really, really big week. And I have just had a massive week. Um, three days of getting up at 6am, getting to work by 7am, traveling to a school and interviewing 10 year olds all day long. Really takes it out of you, surprisingly. Um, and then plus, you know, doing my regular um, job stuff that I usually do on top of that. So it's just been a huge week and I'm a little tired. But Sims 1 is recorded on Fridays and I'm getting my episode out on time this week because I'm killing it. Okay, cool. So we have, we've had a bit of food. Let's go ahead and see if we can do uh, maybe just an inheritance seed just to warm us up and then we'll see if we can do a scene over here as well. I also did see Jessica before. I don't know where she's gone now. Uh, but we'll see if she, we can catch up with her a bit later. Maybe she'll do a scene with us. Um, so we're going to go with comedy for all three for the first one. And she doesn't like it. She doesn't like it. 
Apparently inheritance scenes should not be funny. Fair enough. How about drama? Drama all the way. Nope. Yes. Nope. Okay, that's cool. We can do this. There we go. I just wanted to do one of these scenes before we tried one of the harder scenes, just in case the harder scene fails. Because um, I don't want us to drop down a celebrity star level, because <laughs> that would be really bad. Okay, cool. It's not the best, but it's daytime. Yeah, we can air that. 300 simoleons. You know what? I'll take it. Cool. So let's try out a fight scene because I like the fight scenes. I think they're really fun. Um, hopefully this guy is coming over to do the scene with us. Clay? Nope, he's going upstairs. How rude. What about Edward? Edward, would you like to come and do a scene with us? Anybody who is up here want to come and do a scene with us? Dude, I don't ever go upstairs. Maybe I should actually have Julia go upstairs sometimes. Okay, she gave up. Let's try again. Are you coming? Todd. Todd. Dude. Come come in. Come in and act with me. Please? This is so frustrating. I hate that we have to try to wait for somebody to join us and do this scene with us. It is actually the most annoying thing ever. Are you coming? Jessica, please, come on. Come on, honey. Yes, thank goodness for Jessica. Okay, now we actually just have to not fail. <laughs> sure. Passion, fury, passion. Let's go. Action. Oh, I think she likes it. Okay, we got one. We got two. She didn't like the last one. Ooh, what should we do instead? Okay. What should we do? Should we do passion, fury, confidence? Let's try that. Oh, we've got music playing. I think we win. succeeded at one of these freaking level four and a half scenes how long has it been since we actually successfully did one of those seriously oh that's brilliant we're gonna get such a big paycheck we're gonna get some celebrity star points this is amazing thank you from the bottom line of your heart thank you lady 888 oh that's lame um let's do an air kiss with jessica let's say hi while we can um, I know you're uncomfortable and getting all kinds of miserable right now, sweetheart, but we just need to say hi to our friend while we're here. Let's talk about the biz. And then let's, uh, talk about interests. Our needs are so low right now, like, this is the only interactions that we even have. But I just want to speak to her while we've got the opportunity. And let's, uh, just then... Gigi Lavage. Okay, that will probably do. Let's just head on home while we're still standing. I'm still standing. Hey, Angela's here. Hey, gorgeous. She's got the awesome pink limo. Clearly, Angela's really, like, killing it at the game right now. But, yeah, so we're still at four and a half stars. That's fine with me, honestly. I'm happy to keep it there. Um, the only reason I wanted to come down was so we didn't drop a level and so we could get a little bit of money, which we have successfully done. Yay, Julia home again and as usual she is in an absolutely atrocious mood so see would now be a good time to cast the clone thing so we could send one of us one of us down to magic town but then wouldn't we do we as the clones share the same needs how does that work i just i don't get it because if i send this julia to bed how do i then control other julia I have so many questions. I'm so confused. <laughs> this is just bizarre. How are you doing, Spikey? You're just chilling? Creep freaking out about the door as usual. Fair enough. I also like to freak out about my door. Don't you guys hate when people come to your door? Oh, go away. Who are you? Who are you and how did you find me? Like Rapunzel. Entangled. <laughs> That's me. That's me when anybody is at my door. Unless I'm expecting someone, then it's fine. Luckily, I have dogs like Spikey, uh, who are inbuilt doorbells and warning systems for if anyone even like shuts a car door on the street outside and they're just like, oh my gosh, mum, check it out, someone's out there. And I'm like, 
Shut up, because I'm usually trying to record. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and eat some foods, and then we will hopefully be in a good enough mood to play chess. I'm hoping to get our fun up a little bit. We might actually play with Spikey a little bit too, um, and then we can hopefully get our social and fun up at the same time. And then, yeah, play a bit of chess because we are still trying to work on our mechanical skill and our logic skill. I'm actually quite impressed with Julia Hero's skill levels in general, though. Like, I feel like we're doing a pretty good job. I mean, considering it's Sims 1. Yes, I realize that we're almost 50 episodes in. And if this was a Sims 4, she'd probably be max on, like, every single skill already. But that's okay. And you know what? Today is not the video for ranting about the Sims 4. I already did that earlier this week. If you guys saw that video, by the way, um, and left a comment, thank you very much. It really uh, made me feel happy to have other people agree with my ranty opinions. <laughs> it's fun to, yeah, it's fun to feel like you're amongst like-minded individuals. Okay, so our social need is looking a lot better, but our fun and hygiene and bladder are all a little low. I just, I know she won't play chess if her mood is in the red, so I just would like to try to get it up to, uh... Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. She might just have to sit down and watch a little bit of TV before she plays chess, which I guess is fair enough. Okay, whoops, no, not turn off, not turn off, whoopsie. Yeah, so let's just go ahead and uh, watch a little TV. Come on, Julia, here we go. There we go, she's happy now. Let's go ahead and play some chess. What can we cast on this? Oh, we can enchant the chess table. We should try that out. Uh, still my favourite by all, like, of all time was when we enchanted the flamingo and got a flamingo dancer. <laughs> that was brilliant. Sims 1 at its finest. Did you guys also, like, play so much of the Sims 1 that you've memorised all their little jingles and, like, the times they hum and whistle and things? <laughs> Again, maybe that was just a weird me thing. I feel like I have a lot of weird me things. Or at least I think I do. But maybe other people are weird too. Alrighty, so it's morning. And today we are definitely going to head down to Studio Town. We need to figure out where we can get magical beans for our next magical spell. And I would also like to have Julia just uh, work at getting some more magic coins. Um, I think our next magic spell was Golden Thread, Magic Beans, and one other thing that I can't remember. But I know that when I looked at it, I was like, okay, yeah, no, we don't have any Magic Beans. So we're going to have to figure out how to get those. So we have actually managed to get like one more mechanical and logical skill point since last time we were in Studio Town. So I'm hoping to maybe try out a stage performance as well and see. Oh, geez. Of course, we clogged the toilet. We hadn't flushed it in days. <laughs> so gross. Uh, but yeah, I'm hoping to try out like maybe a stage performance and see if we get more Magic Coins. Uh, but I'm not sure how that's going to go. We could also try out a jewel uh, just for fun. So where would we likely be able to get magical beans? Maybe Mara or Apothecary Todd. They would probably be the two ideas that make the most sense to me. So we're over here. Hello, mystery man. Oh, we can sell our magic one. We can ask him about things. I don't like that guy. He's the guy who came and, like, interrupted our party. <laughs> um, and... Okay, let's just browse. Yeah, he came and interrupted our party to give us, like, fines for using magic in front of people. Rude. Okay, so Sands of Times, Diamond Dust, Pixie Dust, Golden Thread. Okay, no. So we don't get it from there. Let's browse Apothecary Todd's uh, cart and see if we get it here. I almost said tart instead. Mm, now I want a tart. Llama spit, magic beans. So we get magic beans from here. Oh, okay. Um, can we afford them? Yes, we can. Sweet. Well, that was a lot easier than expected. Now I'm annoyed that I didn't double check what the... Hello? Okay, cool. Now I'm annoyed that I didn't check what the other uh, ingredient that I needed for the next spell is. <laughs> That's okay though. That's all right. Um, let's go ahead and head somewhere else. I want to um, maybe go to the other sort of darker uh, lot where we can ride the roller coaster and also do a stage performance, uh, which will be really, really fun. Okay. So yes, first of all, let's go ahead and ride the roller coaster to have a little bit of fun. I feel like Julia definitely needs that in her life. Hey, Bonehilda, how are you, princess? Love you. Um, and then I still, I have no idea what this thing is. <laughs> this puzzle thing over here, I I just, I have no idea. I don't understand whatsoever. 
Um, and then, yeah, we can hopefully do a stage performance, but it looks like Natasha is doing one first. So, okay, fine, whatever. We should also see if there's anyone here we would like to speak to, just for the sake of her social need. Um, Mama's here. Let's go ahead and maybe just talk to Mama real quick. Just say hi, how's she doing? I would love to recreate Mama in The Sims 2 also. I think that'd be really fun. <laughs> um, okay, so talk um, about ourselves. Why not? Give an autograph. Why not? Because, I mean, we're not really friends anymore. So I feel like giving her an autograph is is, is okay. That's legitimate. Let's talk about ourselves a bit more. Oh, no one's on the stage. Are you about to go on the stage? Yes, he is. Damn it. Um, okay, let's go and, yeah, just... Ooh. What did I just do? Did I just say select headstone? Select headstone. Okay, I can tell this is some kind of like, you know, in-game mystery puzzle, but I've just got no idea how I would go about figuring that out. Okay, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to do some research into that. If any of you have a tip, not a giveaway, but a tip for how I figure that out, leave it in the comments. Okay, yeah, so let's do Magic Storm. And then we can do Mummy's Tomb. And then we can do Spectral Spouses. Creepy mummy! Creepy mummy! Also, did you guys ever play The Sims 3 World Adventures with the mummies in that? Because they were freaky as. I personally loved World Adventures. I thought it was so much fun. And yeah, the mummies were cool. They were so scary. Okay, I can't actually see how many magical coins we just got because it's too far away. But I think it was actually quite a few. Let's try and do it again. Sorry, Julia. So we got 61 magic coins now. I know you're uncomfortable, sweetie. I'm just gonna try and perform again. And then, so we'll see, we go from six, what we go from after like 61. Oh no, I wasn't quick enough. So we just got like 16 for that or 15 for that. Yeah, okay, so it kind of just adds up. Righto, I get it. Um, all right, well, who should we? Oh, we can go and play chess. Let's go and play chess. Hopefully these, oh, I was going to say, hopefully these chairs are kind of comfortable because their comfort level's really low, but they're literally like the most uncomfortable looking chairs I think I've ever seen in my life. They're made of like bones of some description. Ew. <laughs> also, it doesn't look like we're actually gaining any logic skill point, which is a shame. That is a shame. Um, what if we come in here and view these creepy old portraits? I want to know. I want to know the mystery of this thing. Um, or maybe we should like talk to Vicky, the vampiress. Maybe she would know something about it. Our energy is getting quite low though, so we're gonna have to head home soon. Um, let's just see what Vicky, if she knows anything. Maybe Apothecary Todd would know something. Ugh. I forgot how annoying it is when you talk to the magical vendors and they want you to do stuff like clearing up magical clouds. Which honestly, we just do not have the energy for today, Vicky. So I am sorry, but I'm actually gonna leave you with that one, and uh, I'm gonna gonna go ahead and head off. <laughs> cool. We can view these things as well. The crypts. Does this help us out at all? Yeah, people are falling asleep because of the because of the magical cloudy thingies. But I'm not sure where they are, so whatever, it's fine. <laughs> We're out of here. Sorry, y'all. Sorry we unleashed that on you. Uh, hope you hope you'll be okay. You'll be fine. I have faith. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna have Julia take a little bit of a sneaky nap, and then I'm gonna double check the spell book um, to see what else we needed for the next spell. Um, yeah, as I said, I remember it was golden thread and the magic beans, but I don't remember what the other object was. Oh, we're getting a simi award again. Marilyn, honey, we're trying to have a nap right now. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, well that's alright. That's another six hundred bucks. Thank you so much, Marilyn. You're so gorgeous. Love you. I do love that in The Sims 1, when you do something good, like you make a friend or, you know, you accomplish something, the music that plays is so like, yeah, I did that. Oh, thanks, paparazzi. I'm just, I'm going back to bed. So if you can just get out of my house, I'd be swell. Love ya. Thank you. But yeah, let's just have her nap just a little so she doesn't pass out on the floor. There we go, that'll do, that's enough napping. Oh yeah, we are, we are clogged the toilet also, so let's just try to quickly 
Unclog the toilet. Super gross. Yes, yes, yes. I know you're upset. Oh, the noise that it makes when they're unclogging the toilets every time. It gets me every time. I'm like, oh, it's so gross. I get cold. Ugh. Okay, so here she comes. Let's go ahead and take a look at the spell book again. Um, I say just small detail, but I love... Oh, Four Leaf Clover. Dude, we can totally make this charm. Oh my gosh, we're going to make two charms in one episode. Ooh, all right, let's do it. So we need to add golden thread, magic beans, and a four leaf clover, and then see what this charm does. We're going to need another table in our magical room uh, to put the, <laughs> the charms on. These ones have all been used up. Oh, apart from this one. Shed your skin, that's right. So yeah, maybe we need another little table. Perfect garden charm. Okay, that's fine. Where are you going with that, Julia? You're putting it in there? Okay, that's fine. So I'm guessing this obviously just helps out with gardening, um, which isn't really something that we're focusing on right now, but it could definitely come in handy later down the track. Whoops. I said cancel. <laughs> no, yeah, I love that. See, on this screen there, it actually looks the same as the, um, like the interface that pops up, the UI. I think that's really nice. It's a nice touch. Um, yeah, so Perfect Garden. This tried and tested spell borders on the horticultural heaven. It restores vim and vigor to each and every agricultural add-on and around your home. If everyone used this charm, there wouldn't be any need for gardeners. Don't tell them that, though. Okay, cool. Righto. So the next one is just beeswax, magic beans, and glacial glass. And actually, I happen to know that we've got pretty much everything um, apart from magic beans, but now we know how to get that. And then this one is honey, dragon tears, and pixie dust. We know how to get all of those things. So I reckon next episode we're gonna be able to whack out two more charms which is really exciting um yeah it seems like we're really moving ahead very quickly now with the magic which is good because we've been working on this for a very long time i now i feel but anyway guys that is probably all that we have time for for today's episode so i'm going to make a cut here i hope that you enjoyed it don't forget to yeah if you know just a tip or a hint for how i figure out that headstone challenge thing leave me a comment um don't give it away but you know something to just help me figure it out because i'm stupid <laughs> I don't get it. Um, and I don't want to look up a walkthrough because that's boring. I'd rather get your insight. But yeah, if you did enjoy this episode, leave a like under the video, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell so you know when the next, 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 whatever, episodes come out. Thank you so much for watching. Also, you can give me a follow on Twitter if you want to as well. If you would like to hear more Sims 4 rants, I tend to, I do tend to take them to Twitter a bit. Um, and uh, you can also support me on Patreon if you want to as well. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I will see you next time. Bye for now.